Well, the most obvious question that I need to answer is yes, this is real. <laughs> it started at the beginning of, beginning of the pandemic, and we all have ways of getting through the last two years, and this was mine. Also, my first job out of law school was rather unique. I joined a program that AmeriCorps set up to help the Gulf Coast, Coast in the aftermath of the BP oil spill. So this Vietnamese kid who grew up in the Pacific Northwest and went to law school in Boston, worked in rural Alabama for a year, making $800 a month, living in a studio apartment without any furniture. My car broke down, so I carpooled and walked everywhere in the southern heat for eight of those months. And I helped people, mostly shrimper, apply for relief and restitution from BP. Also taught such soccer to youth, a sport that I have not, not played before. And I made friends along the way that I still send texts to, to every day. I guess that's a long way of saying two things. I want to serve and I am adaptable. I want to serve the w WISPA member and the profession as the governor. There are challenges ahead for our association and our profession as a whole. And I can help us adapt to these challenges. I don't know Mr. Ronsley personally, but from what I heard, I can say that I commend his work for the Bar Association. We both want our profession to thrive. Perhaps there are two things that I can offer. First, I have extensive experience serving on and leading boards and commission. I am on my local planning commission. I am currently chair of a state government commission, co-chair of a WISPA committee, and an officer on a board of the largest nonprofit serving homeless family in Olympia. I know how to work with others, building consensus and mutual respect. Second, I have practiced law for small and large firms, for a corporation and for the government. I have experienced the travail and reward of each. I've also experienced failure. There was a point in my career that I wanted to leave the profession. I understand how difficult it can get practicing law, but I love my job now. I want WISBA to be a leader in making it easier for us attorneys to do our job, to practice our craft, and to love it. There's one issue that will be very important in the coming year for the practice of law in Washington State. It goes to the very structure of our Bar Association. Court rulings in the near future may affect how our association is organized. The State Supreme Court and very part of our Bar Association have discussed over the past three years on what to do if the U.S. Supreme Court decide one way or another on the legality, legality of a mandatory professional association. I have taken part in some of these discussions, and even if a decision is not forthcoming, this is a good time to ask what we want out of, out of our Bar Association. Are there initiatives that need changing or cutting? are the initiatives that the bar can expand to improve your legal practice and work life, such as mental health programs. Are there new ways to approach the practice of law and an association of lawyers? I certainly have my opinion on some of these questions, but I know that there are a lot of opinion and facts about this issue that I can learn from others, including you, the member of the 10th district, and also fellow bar governors. The legal profession work best when lawyers, even as adversary, listen to each other with respect. And I plan to do so on all issues before the Board of Governors.